Good morning from Mission Control Houston and welcome to today's International Space Station update. Joining us here inside of the flight control room in Houston, Texas, the Orbit 2 team on console right now, monitoring each of their respective systems being controlled on board this orbiting laboratory. Today's team being led by Flight Director Royce Renfrew there on the right, and joining him at the Capcom position, uh, veteran astronaut Sandy Magnus, serving as the communication link between all of our controllers down here on the ground and the astronauts up in space. As astronauts right now, the crew of Expedition 33, you see Commander Sonny Williams here unpacking some of the cargo that was recently brought up on the SpaceX Dragon capsule, which docked to the International Space Station yesterday morning. Williams will spend uh, much of her day today um, dealing with uh, a few housekeeping tasks around the International Space Station. She was working on uh, the station's environmental health system, which helps to ensure uh, these astronauts' breathing atmosphere and drinking water is uh, kept in uh, healthy shape. So she was working on the uh, total organic carbon analyzer, which looks to track any potential contaminants that may be in the astronauts' drinking water. She was uh, filling out a buffer container in there and also taking some water samples from the astronauts' water processor assembly. Aside from that, she was unloading a few items from this Dragon spacecraft, uh, unpacking the double cold bag, and also activating some of the nano racks experiments that have come up, and also transferring a few cold stowage items from one of the glacier freezers on board Dragons over to one of the station experimental Merlin lockers. She'll also be doing a few housekeeping tasks, cleaning some of the bacteria filters and nodes one and three over on the U.S. segment, and just a little while ago wrapped up uh, speaking to some reporters down here on the ground with ABC News and CNN. Also in the view there, you can see Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency astronaut Aki Hoshide, who's uh, spending the vast majority of his time today unloading some of the cargo from that Dragon capsule. He'll also be uh, swapping out one of the removable hard drives in the crystal liquids and crystallization experiment. Again, uh, much of his time today will be spent unloading uh, some of the 882 pounds of supplies that were delivered on that Dragon spacecraft. Uh, the crew will have about 18 days to unload all the cargo and move in everything that will be uh, carried back down to the ground. So uh, with that hatch now open as of yesterday afternoon at 12.40 p.m. Central Time, crew getting right to work uh, unloading all the items brought up. Our third uh, Expedition 33 crew member Yuri Malenchenko, a Russian cosmonaut, is uh, spending his day. Uh, he's on his third day of the Kolonovsky Crystal Experiment, which is a complex study on board station that looks to uh, look at the dynamic and structural characteristics of crystal systems that are formed when ions are stored inside of an electromagnetic trap. Aside from that, he'll be doing some uh, routine cleaning work over on the Russian segment, uh, cleaning out a few of the ventilation screens and dust collectors that help to ensure that these astronauts' breathing atmosphere is kept safe uh, and healthy. Aside from that, uh, major activity on board station this week, the arrival of the Dragon SpaceX capsule. Uh, this was SpaceX's first commercial resupply mission to the International Space Station. You can see Dragon here currently docked to the International Space Station at the Earth-facing side of the Harmony module. It was grappled uh, yesterday morning, October 10th, at about 5.56 a.m. Central Time, berthed uh, just a little over two hours later at 8.03 a.m., and then uh, Williams and Hoshide worked vigorously to remove the common berthing mechanism and get the hatchway open, uh, allowing them to uh, unload some of the 800 pounds of cargo brought up to them on board station. 